Hey everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So it is time for another week of our uh, CW Planner by Marguerite Miller. And this is week 13. Hard to believe the end of this week will be April. Oh my gosh. I am filming Sunday morning. It's not too early. I did manage to sleep a little later this morning, which was good. However, if you may be able to tell my by voice... My allergies, guys, and sinuses, oh my goodness, it is horrible. I have so much gunk in my face, and <laughs> I can't get it out in my sinuses. It's radiating to my ears, so who knows? Luckily, I am off today. Um, going to be going to church this morning, and then come back home and play some more in the craft room. So we will go ahead and get started on this. And this week ending is, I believe, the second. I mean, I just looked on my calendar and I've forgotten already. Yes, April the second. Oh, my goodness. So, I have out the uh, Ranger Archival Ink Rose Manor. And we have our, um, yeah, whatever those things are called. Stamps. My goodness. All right. So, it's going to be 4 to 22. So, all we need is the 4 and the 2. So we will go ahead and stamp our week ending date up here. That's cute. I don't want to put that up. I don't know. Somewhere. Stamp it off. Stamp it off. Okay. There we go. For, oh, we need our little uh, arrow thingy. And two. Try to get some. It's really pretty here as far as the weather goes. A little bit chilly. And uh, wind's blowing like crazy, but. Okay, so we got that one. So we can put that one back. Four to 22. Wow. Next month is my birthday month. I was thinking about doing something for my birthday, but I think I've let too much time go because, you know, it was going to be where people sent me things to be entered, and I had lots of thoughts surrounding that and yeah maybe too late we'll see maybe i've already did a, decided to do it and did a video and posted it who knows okay so there's that so we'll put that away all right so this week's prompts are a poem which i have here um a bird where'd my birdie go i had my little birdie there's my birdie um, a measurement, which I have some back here that we could cut out. Um, stitching, real drawn, or stamped. So I just took this little piece and just stitched some cross X's on there and did a, is that a bullion knot? Some straight stitches. So we have stitching. Uh, repeated rubber stamping. So I have this stamp right here, Lee Corset. And this is from Lorna over at Taylor Made Journals, and she makes the best stamps, guys. Uh, I've got that and this hand, this little hand stamp, so we'll figure that out. And then a bonus is a portion of a used envelope, so I have an envelope here. So we will have to figure out what exactly to do with that. So let's see. Um, and I'm thinking about maybe, guys, taking just a tad off the top, maybe, and then we'll just put that over that whole page. I think we'll do that. Okay, let's see. I have my little trimmer buried under loads of other things. So let's go just to the top of that wing. Yeah. Okay, let's see if that'll sit up there. Get out from under there. Okay, so we have we have this. I guess we could do there. 
I'm thinking I am going to because it says our portion we'll just tear this down so I really like this color here uh, we're still going to cover up the tire what are we going to do guys the portion let's tear it down even more okay we still have our tire covered up this is still going to qualify as a portion of a stamp of a envelope right guys I hope look it could still be a little pocket <gasps> yeah that'll work a little pocket down here in the corner okay no judgment guys no judgment and then maybe we can make this smaller here be a little bit off the top as well Put that there. Okay, and then we have our. We could just put him there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. Maybe we will do the stamping on this side. Okay, a poem, a bird. Oh, we got our measurement. Okay. Figure out our measurements here. Go ahead and cut one of these out. So yeah, it's supposed to be another pretty day. No rain till Thursday, I believe. Let's see, this airs on Wednesday, so no rain till tomorrow. And I am off tomorrow. So yay. Um, that's okay. I plan on spending it in the craft room anyway, so. And the way my allergies are going this season. I did last Thursday... I'll do that over here when I went for my uh, B12 shot I did talk to them about um, doing some allergy testing to see if we can pinpoint exactly what it is I'm allergic to um, that way we can try and um, tailor some medication specifically for what I'm allergic to because this is driving me nuts guys absolutely nuts okay so and then we'll figure out the stamping okay so let's go ahead and get this down so let's grab our glue book because we have to glue up this whole thing There's so much pressure <laughs> under my right eye. It's like, oh, it's driving me insane. It's like one minute it's better, and then the next minute, bam. Got all that gunk in there. Have to maybe run, stop by somewhere after church and see about getting something for this sinus pressure headache because it's starting to get pretty bad on the right side okay that thing here and then we're gonna do this measurements all right he can go there he's cute put this there let's um feel the need to distress something so let's distress around here Still gonna leave this as a pocket. We may find something to go up in there. So we will just and I forgot to fill my art glitter glue, of course. 
forgetting that for about a week now. Then I think I want the fabric tag for that. Lay it back on some glues here. Alright, I'm excited. Let's say today is Wednesday. Um Yeah, I think today we get the new information on the um, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. So we will get the prompts slash whatever it is you call it for April. Very excited for that. See what they are. Now, let's go ahead and put our little birdie on, and then we can figure out the stamping part. Did start a new journal. I don't think that those videos have started yet, but, yep. Excited about that. And then I'm still thinking, guys, because I have, like, so many digitals printed... And I think I've said something about it before, but doing like a stash journal maybe. Using what's in my stash, mainly all those printables and ephemera and all of that stuff that I have um, printed but haven't used. Because it is ridiculous. Not even sure why I printed it all out like I did. I guess with the intentions of using it but haven't used it yet okay so we're done with gluing I believe so we can get glue book out of the way done okay so stamping pulling bird measurements stitching stamps envelope is the bonus okay so let's see I think it maybe will do it over here or this one here in the potting soil. Let's see, repeated rubber stamping. Not really sure what that means. Oh, that's cute. Good choice on that one, Lori. Good choice. Okay. figure out how he comes out. I think I've ever used this. don't even know where I got it from, to be honest with you. I think I got it at the Peace Place. Doesn't look like it's ever been used. We're going to do the um, rose matter here. Do something different. Okay, let's see. Here. 
Oh, that's really cute, guys. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. This off. That's just tearing apart. Let's see if we can get it back in here. Now Lorna's stamp, because I know I want it on there. Okay. Here we go. Also going to do the pinky color. It doesn't really look like I got it on there good. I can't see today, guys. That's the problem. I don't think this is going to come out right, guys. It has nothing to do with her stamp. It has all to do with me and the fact that I just can't see today. Alright. Oh, yeah, that looks good. I like that. Yep, yep. Alright. I need to put this with my other stamps. I did get them somewhat organized, but I knew I wanted to use this one, so I wanted to keep it close over here in my drawer to have these as well this is handmade by enchanted dreams these she made this journal created by let's go ahead and do that oh my face my face There we go. Handmade with love. Awesome. All right. Get these back in here. Alright guys, I believe we are done. Done and done. Do we want to put a little something in our pocket though? Let's see what we have. That we can put in our little pocket right here. Um, pocket, pocket, pocket. Let's see, what do we have here? Okay, this right here is from Emily Plowfield at Junk Journal Inspiration. It was a little thank you pack. I just bought one of her journals. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. Okay, let's see. Oh, cute. Maybe we could do that one too. There we go. It's a little playing card. Isn't that cute? Yep. Okay, I think I'm going to just ink around this with what may be left in this ink dauber. Give it a little something. 
it's around there. All right, there we go, guys. Another week down. So this is week 13 of our uh, CW planner by Marguerite Miller. And this week's prompt is a poem. So we have spring is the poem. A bird, uh, measurement, uh, stitching, real drawn or stamped, repeated ru rubber stamping. So anyway, stuff stamped. Um, and a portion of a used envelope as the bonus. So we have that. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all so much for your support. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.